to Chancellor St. John, members of the board, university presidents, distinguished guests and friends, welcome back to the University of Alabama at Birmingham. It is an honor and privilege to represent our student body, as well as share with you another exciting chapter in the history of our Blazer family. In honor of Black History Month, I'd like to open up with a quote by Martin Luther King. He says, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. This quote resonates with me because it reflects the journey of many students entering college, whether that initial step is to become a first generation graduate or to unearth a passion that will segue into a future career. Growing up Asian American, I was taught that to be self-silent is to belong, to be accepted. I wouldn't recommend this advice now because I did not follow it, but for years I thought my worth could only be measured by my brain, not my voice. This is why representation matters, why diversity matters. In the thick of political and social divide in 2020, tensions from BLM and AAPI discrimination propelled UAB to unite our community through a campus-wide vigil as well as continue centering student voices and university committees. UAB empowered me to take my first step from self-censorship to self-authorship, rewriting my story and advocating in areas that matter to me. In the past two academic years, my organization collaborated with campus leadership and charitable donors to raise $250,000 for a COVID-19 emergency grant, as well as formed initiatives for a $20,000 undergraduate medical emergency fund. The possibilities of making a difference were attainable because individuals came together and took a first step towards a greater purpose. So I'm very thankful to represent an institution that champions these values of diversity, inclusivity, collaboration, and achievement. When people ask me what it's like to do double duty as student government president and Miss UAB, I jokingly claim to have double the blazer spirit and double the blazer stress. But in all sincerity, I love my dual role because I simultaneously witness the internal and external work that enables UAB to flourish. In this dynamic landscape where national labor shortages are present, being Forbes 2021 America's best large employer is a testament to the commitment of UAB employees to our students and our patients. I think of Mr. Eddie, one of Hill Student Center's custodians, who has the option to retire yet chooses to continue his service to our students, or Kevin Pohl and his team at our new Einstein's location who bring a smile each day even amid staff shortages. USGA was pleased to recognize our employees and our dining staff by passing out nearly 200 individual roses, cards, and buttons to, in appreciation of their daily service to our students. As a math major, I like to describe life in the pandemic as a parabola. What felt like an extended summer break soon tapered into critical conversations about mental health and physical well-being. Taking pride that we are the first university in the country to become an internationally recognized health-promoting university, UAB organized several specialized task forces to address health and sanitation, with one being a student-led campaign to spread health-promoting messages and behaviors on social media. The return to campus in fall 2021 resulted in strategies to encourage campus and community-wide vaccinations. Not only has UAB partnered to achieve the vaccination rates that Dr. Watts described, but 156 out of 382 active student organizations had rosters with at least 70% of their members vaccinated, which totaled over 43,000 incentive dollars geared specifically towards additional organization funding. Implementing data-driven decisions would not have been possible without our public health experts and epidemiologists. I was recently speaking with an NIH researcher, Dr. Hans Ackerman, and he commented how fortunate we were to have trusted and esteemed experts such as Dr. Suzanne Judd on our faculty. With her guidance and that of others, we have made robust progress on safe community and classroom environments at UAB, so we are indeed blessed to have such experts right here at home. If UAB were a garden, the fruits are its people. Our community is dedicated to the education and social experience of the whole person. The critical question is how are we preparing a community, how are we preparing our community members to be successful scholars and innovators? One way UAB builds tomorrow's leaders is through innovative architecture. 
Our most diverse freshman class will be engaged in new technologically advanced buildings like the science and engineering complex and the genomics medicine building. These and other spaces are not engineered to be private, but personal. Healthier spaces are intentionally designed to nourish our creativity and encouraging the collaboration and open dialogue that lead to real world solutions. Centralized in a metropolitan and urban setting, UAB warmly opens its doors to new opportunities and new beginnings. We look forward to hosting 3,600 elite athletes and other international guests in the World Games and to cheering on our own student athletes as we join the American Athletic Conference in 2023, building on the successes of UAB football at the new Protective Stadium. UAB will contribute to further medical advancements at our Hearsink School of Medicine, thanks to the generous gift from Dr. Marnix Hearsink, who is a resident of my hometown of Dothan. As UAV makes phenomenal strides that impact our nation and world, our institution sticks close to its roots by serving underrepresented communities through the Live Health Smart Alabama initiative, which, as Dr. Watts described, is expanding its impact with its mobile health screenings and affordable mobile markets. With these and other efforts, our university is endless imagination on wheels. That is the power and promise of UAB to our world and its leaders. Your time and dedication on this board helps to drive UAB to be the powerhouse that it is today. Investing into UAB is investing into these new beginnings and in innovation, from delivering and caring for the world's most premature infant to the world's first transplant of genetically modified kidneys from a pig into a human. Breakthroughs like these are what sutures innovation to meet technology and technology to meet human needs. We will continue to be trailblazers at the forefront of education, medicine, and other fields, one step, one idea, or even one transplant at a time. I thank the members of the board for the guidance you provide and for everything you do for UAB, our institution, our sister institutions, and the state of Alabama. Go Blazers, thank you.